Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we are making baked sweet potato mac and cheese. Grab a plate, cause it's the all-free Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Hello everybody, welcome back to the show. Today I have a recipe for you that is gonna be perfect for you to take to your Thanksgiving meal, to share with everybody. And great, it's completely plant-based, so you will have something to eat. So we're gonna start out, I already pre-cooked my noodles, and I cooked them a little bit al dente because we're gonna also bake them in the oven. So this is sweet potato baked mac and cheese, and it is so delicious, You'll, you will love it. So this is a brown rice pasta, which I really like because it's literally just brown rice and water. So there's no added ingredients in there, completely gluten-free, it's all good. Okay, so we have our noodles cooked al dente, and I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And I also pre-cooked my sweet potatoes. So you can cook those on about 375, or you can bake them in the oven on 375 for about 50 minutes and that will be plenty. You just want it you know, soft enough so you can scoop it out. So that's what we're gonna start with here. We're gonna start with one and a half cups. So that's one cup. I'll get a half cup more in here of sweet potato. And this is so, it makes it so silky and creamy. It is absolutely delicious. And you're getting nutrients at the same time. All of those beta carotenes and that orange flesh of the sweet potato, so perfect. And those picky eaters, those little kitties, or even those big kitties that are picky eaters, they'll never know. They'll never know this isn't actually cheese. Okay, and then we have a cup and a half of unsweetened soy milk. And be sure to do unsweetened soy milk. You don't want your mac and cheese to be sweet. That would be kind of gross. We have a half a cup of nutritional yeast, two teaspoons of Bragg's liquid aminos, or you could use a soy sauce or tamari, either one, they all work great. It's just to add a little bit of that saltiness. And a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. And that's gonna give it a little bit of a tang, a little bit of a punch like cheese has. Okay, so now we're just gonna blend this until it is just silky. Today's show is brought to you in part by Nutrilicious. Nutritional yeast is an essential ingredient found in every modern-day plant-based kitchen that actually dates back to ancient Egyptian times. Nutrilicious nutritional yeast is a powerful superfood that is gluten-free, low in sodium, non-GMO, and 100% vegan. Nutrilicious is high in dietary fiber, pound for pound has more protein than beef, and is full of the cheesy flavor we crave. As a very special deal for our viewers, click the link in the card or in the description to save up to 55% off of your order. There we go. Super quick and easy, and look at that. Oh my gosh, it is so silky, velvety looking, and yum, delicious. All right, so we're gonna put that in our or on our macaroni here. I'm gonna mix it in really good first. And I already have, I have my baking dish is ready over here. I just have a regular, uh, just a nine by nine brownie pan. But you can use whatever whatever you want. You know, if, you, if you're taking it to a potluck or your Thanksgiving dinner, Maybe you want it to be a little nicer dish if you have a nice casserole dish to make it really pretty. But I like these, I like these glass ones because you can see every, you can see all through it. I really like that. All right. Oh, that looks so good. So this is great just by itself, but if you want an added bonus, you could shred up some cabbage really, really small and cook, pre-cook it, and then stir it into here because that's a good way to hide some vegetables in there and to give this a really good uh, nutrition punch. 
and no one will even know because cabbage is such a neutral, you know, once it's cooked, it's such a neutral flavor, but it's a good way to add a lot of nutrition. But I'm just gonna show you the original way today and then you can jazz it up whatever way you like. You could also add greens in here, but I'm kind of making this so that, you know, all those little picky eaters show them that they can eat healthy too. All right, set this aside. Now we're gonna make the crumbly top that is so, so yummy. This is a half cup of sunflower seeds. You could also use cashews or almonds, but I like to try something different a little bit. You know, get your good fats from those sunflower seeds. Half a cup of nutritional yeast, a half teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of smoked paprika, just for a little bit extra jazzy flavor. And then we're just gonna do maybe a teaspoon of Bragg's just to give it a little bit of liquid so it'll clump just a little bit. So we're just gonna blitz this until it's really small crumbles because this is supposed to replicate Normally it's a breading coating, but I'm trying to do this for you guys that, so it's completely gluten-free and healthy. So, but that's what we're going for. And it doesn't take much to grind that up. Just a couple seconds and then you have a nice grainy looking topping. Okay, so now we're just gonna sprinkle that on top I'm gonna break up some of those bigger chunks. And you can use all of it, or you can, you know, if you don't like the crumbly topping as much, you know, like I have quite a bit left in here. And this is something you can put this in a Tupperware container or a little baggie and put it in the freezer so that you have it ready for your next time because guaranteed you're gonna be making this again. All right, so now all that's left is to stick it into that oven. So it's already preheated to 350 degrees and we're gonna stick it in there for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes until this is, starts to brown on the top. And if it isn't browning, you can always turn on for the last about minute, you can turn on the broil setting. Just watch it really carefully. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our new Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy Cookbook are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting members. By becoming a supporting member, you gain access to great member perks like monthly product giveaways, free downloads of our eBooks, and access to our in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. We create this show for the hundreds of thousands of viewers just like you who tune in each month from all over the world to make it easy for everyone to live a plant-based lifestyle. So if you love our content, please join us on our mission and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay guys, it is out of the oven and oh my gosh, it smells so good. I can't wait to eat. Come on in and take a look. You gotta see this. Mm. It smells so good. All right, I'm gonna grab a plate and a fork and I will meet you at the table for a taste. Goody, goody, it's time to eat. So let's try this. Oh, I've been smelling this for quite a while now. Oh, yummy. Look at that. Oh, so creamy. Mm. But it's all about that taste, right? Mmm. 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 Nice and creamy. And the topping. Got it just browned enough so you get that toasty 
toasty flavor from the sunflower seeds. Mm. Mm. You guys are gonna love this. Mm. So be sure to give this a like. Enjoy the holidays, and I'll see you next week for another great recipe.